In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use GIMP to make fire and flames. I'll first demonstrate how to fill your entire image with flames, like you see here. And then I'll demonstrate how to put flames on top of another photograph or image, like you see here. Let's start by creating a new project. So go to the File menu and select New. And I'm going to use a size of 1600 by 1000 pixels. Next, make sure that you have a white background. If it's any other color, fill it in using the Bucket Fill tool. And then go up to the Filters menu, select Render, Clouds, and Difference Clouds. And then check this box right here next to Turbulent, and press OK. And now we're going to change the contrast a little. So go up to the Colors menu and select Curves. And then grab the center of this line and pull it down to the bottom. And then press OK. And then next we're going to turn this into the color of fire. So go up to the Colors menu and select Color Balance. And here we have three ranges that we can adjust. Shadows, Midtones, and Highlights and we're going to make adjustments to all of them. So you can start by clicking on Shadows, and then for the color levels here, take this first slider and slide it all the way to the right. You can leave the middle slider where it is, and then take the bottom slider and slide that all the way to the left. And then select Midtones and do the same thing. The top slider to the right, the bottom slider to the left and then repeat that again for highlights. And then that'll set the color for our fire. And then press OK. And then next we want to add some flames. So select the smudge tool, and then select a soft brush, and I'm going to use the hardness 075 brush, and then set the size of your brush. And I'm going to use a size of about 100. And now you can use the smudge tool to start making the flames. And I just typically pull in an upward direction, and you can also pull up in a curved fashion to make the flames look more realistic. So you just work with this until you get the look that you like. And this looks pretty good. So now what if you want to apply flames to another image or a photograph? Well, I'll show you how to do that now. So let's open up an image. So go to the File menu and select Open. And then select your image. So here we have an image of a pan of water. And we're going to put our fire right on top of the water here. And one of the keys to making this work right with fire is to make sure that you have a dark background. So here the water is dark, the back of the pan is dark, and I have a completely black background. So what we need to do is to start by creating a new layer. So we can click this button right here. And we want the new layer to be black. And since I have a black foreground selected here already, all we need to do for the layer fill type is to select foreground color and that will fill it in as a black background. And then we also want to make sure that this new layer is on top of our image. But for now we can turn this off so you can click this button right here. And then next click on the ellipse select tool which is this button. And then we're going to select this water area. So let me start by pulling this ellipse tool over here. Then I'll adjust the edges so it just covers the top of this water. And this looks good. And then turn this top layer back on again by pressing this button. And make sure that this top layer is selected. And then we're going to fill the center area in with white. 
So select the Bucket Fill tool, and then you can press this button to swap these two colors to bring white to the foreground, and then click on the center. Then go up to the Filters menu, select Render, Clouds, and Difference Clouds. This is just like we did before. And then make sure that the checkbox next to Turbulent has a check in it, and press OK. And then we go up to the Colors menu, select Curves, grab the center and pull that down to the bottom, and then go to the Colors menu, select Color Balance, and just like before, we'll go through all three of these selections and we'll set the top slider to its maximum value and the bottom slider to its minimum value. And then press OK. And now we can turn this selection off by going to the Select menu and select None. And now we want the image of our pan to be visible. So with this top layer still selected, go up to the Mode and change the mode from Normal to Screen. And now any part of our top layer that was black will now be transparent and it will let the image below it show through. So now we can go back over to our Smudge tool again. And this time I'm going to set the brush size to about 50. And then I'll take the Smudge tool and I'll go around this back edge. And as I'm going around here, I'm kind of moving the mouse up and down at the same time that I go sideways. And I just want to give this a little bit of variation around the edge. And then I can start making the flames. And here again, I'm just pulling up and I'm kind of doing swirls as well. And instead of starting at the middle of any of this dark black area, I'm kind of starting around the edges of it. And that seems to give it a more realistic effect. So then just like before, you just work with this until you get the look that you like. And then I think I'll just pull these flames up just a little bit more over here and make kind of a big one. And that looks pretty good. And then I'll add just a little more over here on the right side. And this is pretty much the look that I was going for. So that's how you can use GIMP to make fire and flames. Well that concludes this video. And thanks for watching, and please subscribe and leave a comment.